Let's consider solve problem 5 on strings. Consider the following C program. Here is the C program available in front of you and the options are also available. You need to determine the output of this program. This question has been asked in GATE CS 2018. I would encourage you to pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. I hope you're done. Okay, let's move on to the solution. We will start from the main function itself. In this main function, the first line is char star str1 equals to high and char star str2 equals to by. We have two pointers str1 and str2. str1 is pointing to the first character of the string literal and str2 is pointing to the first character of the string literal and here is how it can be pictorially represented. str1 contains the address 1000 which is the address of the first character of the string literal and str2 contains the address 2000 which is the address of the first character of this string literal. These are all my assumptions, okay? And I'm also assuming the address of str1 is 3000 and address of str2 is 4000, okay? Now we are calling fun1, basically the function fun1 and we are passing str1 and str2 to these pointers s1 and s2. What does it mean passing str1 and str2 to these pointers s1 and s2? str1 contains the addresses of some characters, right? And these are also the pointers to some characters. So we can pass these addresses to these pointers. Isn't that so? Passing str1 means passing the contents of str1. str1 contains 1000. So I can replace this by 1000 and I can replace this by 2000, right? These addresses are passed to these pointers s1 and s2, right? So s1 now contains 1000 and s2 contains 2000. Within this function, we have a pointer tmp which is local to this function right and because of this statement tmp also contains the address 1000 because we are simply assigning the contents of s1 to tmp tmp is also pointed to a character and this address is also representing a character isn't that so after that we have this line s1 equals to s2 which means that the contents of s2 is now assigned to s1 s2 contains the address 2000 now it is assigned to s1 so it is now changed by 2000. After this, we have this line S2 equals to TMP, which means that this address is now assigned to this location. So this is now replaced by 1000. See carefully, only these addresses are swapped within these pointers S1 and S2, which are local to this function. There is no change observed in str one and str 2 at all. Hence, when we come back here and we try to print the contents pointed by str one and str 2 then only high and by will get printed because str1 is still pointing to high and str2 is still pointing to by. Isn't that so? Therefore, the output is high by. Now let's see the call of fun2. Here in this case, we are passing the address of str1 and the address of str2. These addresses are received by these two pointers s1 and s2 which are actually the double pointers. Right? s1 is a double pointer. As we can see here, we have two stars instead of just one. When we read this line cast star s1, then it means that s1 is the pointer to a character. And here when we read this line, then we say that s1 is a pointer to a pointer which is pointing to some character. Therefore, s1 contains the address of some pointer. And that is what we are passing here. The address of str1. We know that str1 is a pointer, right? And here we are passing the address of str1 and not the contents of str1. Hence, we can replace this address of str1 by 3000 and this address of str2 by 4000, right? These addresses are now passed to these pointers. S1 now contains the address 3000 and S2 contains 4000. Now, within this function, we have declared a pointer tmp, which is a pointer to a character. So it should contain the address of some character. And with the help of this line, 1000 address is passed to tmp. Why is that so? S1 contains the address 3000. When we dereference it, means that when we go to this location and access the content stored in that location, then we get this address. Isn't that so? S1 contains the address 3000. After dereferencing, we get this address 1000. So this address is now stored within this TMP pointer. You can verify this also that this address is actually the address of the first character of the string literal. And we know that TMP is the pointer to some character. Hence, it should contain the address of some character. 
and 1000 is the address of a character only, right? Now what happens when we execute this line? Star S1 equals to star S2. Star S2 means we are dereferencing the S2. Star S2 means we are going inside this location, that is 4000, and we are simply accessing this content. We are assigning this address to this particular location. Isn't that so? Because S1 contains the address 3000 after dereference, we get inside this location. S2 contains the address 4000 after dereference, we get inside this location. We are simply putting this address in this location. Isn't that so? Now we can replace this by 2000. This means that str1 is now pointing to this location. And with the help of this statement, str2 will point to 2, this location. Because TMP contains the address 1000 and we are simply assigning this address to this particular location. So these two pointers are now pointing to different literals. Isn't that so? With the help of this printf function, by and hi will get printed on the screen. Because str1 is now pointing to the string literal by and str2 is now pointing to the string literal hi. Hence the output is by hi of this printf function. Overall output is hi by by hi. So the option A is the correct option.